So you're riding down the road when suddenly an object falls out of the back of a truck into your path of travel. Now, will you be able to maneuver around this object? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you four tips when it comes to swerving. Now I'm gonna break it down and write it for you. So stay right there. Hey, I'm Paul the Motor Guy and welcome to my channel where I pass on riding tips, practice drills, and defensive riding strategies to fellow riders. Now, I'm a rider coach, a motorcycle sergeant, and owner and instructor at Pro Rider Center of Texas, where we teach police riding skills to civilian riders. Now, as any rider knows, being able to swerve around potential hazards is a vital skill that every rider needs to practice. So let's get into it. So, what is a swerve? A swerve is two consecutive counter steers one to avoid the hazard and one to regain directional control. Now, tip number one. Now, when swerving, you must use the counter steering technique, which means that you will push right to go right and push left to go left. Now, the faster you're going, the more you will have to push to get the motorcycle to change direction. So when you're swerving, you need to push in the direction you want to go to avoid the hazard. Then you want to push in the other direction so you can recover and straighten. Now, tip number two, you need to keep your body upright when swerving. Now, this allows the motorcycle to respond quicker and make for a faster change of direction. Do not lean with the motorcycle. Now for tip number three, you want to separate any braking from swerving. Now, this is very important because if you use brakes during your swerve, you risk the chance of losing traction and crashing. Now, you also don't want to decelerate during your swerve you want to maintain a steady speed through the swerve. Now, if you must brake, it is very important to get all your braking done before you start your swerve. Tip number four, proper head and eyes. You don't want to stare at the hazard that you're trying to avoid. Now, you know the hazard is there, so there is no need to stare at it. You want to look away from the hazard towards your escape path. Then you want to look down the road at your lane of travel. Now, if you haven't seen my videos on how to turn a motorcycle and target fixation, I will leave a link up top and in the description below. So be sure to go check them out after this video. Now, I'm gonna go outside and ride this exercise for you. But first, let me go over the pattern I'll be using. Now, the hazard is eight feet wide and the skate lanes are eight feet wide and 20 feet long. Now, the cue cones where I will initiate my swerve is 20 feet from the hazard. Now, your setup can be as simple as two cue cones and a hazard that is eight feet wide and 20 feet from the cue cone. Now, I'm gonna to ride toward the hazard at about 20 to 25 miles per hour. Now, as I reach the cue cones, I will initiate my swerve around the hazard and into my lane of travel. Now, let's go outside and ride this. Now, I hope you found value in this video. If so, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Now, until next time, practice, 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 and ride safe.